Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Benito Sebastian and this is the first video of a series of videos on MATLAB App Designer. So MATLAB App Designer is a toolbox developed by MATLAB to create graphical user interfaces or GUI in short. So there is already another one called Guide which is the older version and for that one you have to hard code every single thing. The advantage of the App Designer is that you can um, drag and drop buttons that's already predefined by MATLAB. So let's get started. So we'll open MATLAB and to open up App Designer what you have to do is type in App Designer and then press enter. So this should open up the App Designer window for you. Okay so when we open up the App Designer this is what we see. So we have a component library where you can drag and drop all the components that's predefined by MATLAB. So there's some really cool stuff like, uh, you know, gauge, lamps, switches, buttons, axes. And on the in the middle side, we have the the UI figure. So this is the panel where, you know, you'll drop all your buttons and which will be displayed to the um, the user, basically. And we have a component browser. So the component browser shows what components are there are in the UI figure. So at the moment there's only the UI figure which is this window here, this panel here and you can see the properties of um, the UI figure displayed in this corner. Um, the next thing is the code view. So if you click here you can see the code view. So MATLAB has made everything very simple for us by defining um, the, the code for the panel that's, that we already see and creating a basic structure um, for us so we don't have to bother about you know, um, creating the, uh, the code for the basic stuff. So all this is grayed out as you can see and if I try to add something on it won't allow me. So this is a good thing because then that means we don't need to you know, mess with any of these code and then we just work with what we need to work with. So in this tutorial um, I'll show you a simple, um, very simple hello, wor hello world um, um, display message. Um, so what I will show you is we'll drag and drop the button um, and we'll make this panel smaller so we can just drag on this and then make this more like this and you can so I'll show you how to basically display something in a text box so we can drag this text box in and drop it in so we'll click on this and delete you can press the delete button to get rid of that so make sure you drag in the text box edit field so because we're trying to you know display a string which is hello world um, and we can call this uh, we can double click to edit so we'll say display okay so you can double click and edit or you can just type it here and you can change the font and size and everything here and the background color so we'll just keep it simple and this when you click on this you can see on the component browser that everything's displayed so everything in the panel is displayed here so we've got the display button we've got the UI figure and then we've got the edit field so what we want to do is when we click on display we want to show hello world in this text box so what we have to do then is right click the display button and go to callbacks and then add push button. So what this basically does, uh, well, what callback basically means is um, we want something to happen when this button is clicked. So we want hello world to be displayed in, in the text box above when this button is pressed. So we click on add push, add button pushback function callback. So this takes us straight to the code view and you can see that we have a white box which allows it to add right code in so this is the bit where we add code in and let me just quickly explain what you see around this area and um, so in here you in the top left corner you see the code browser which shows you all the callbacks so this is the callback that we just created now so display button pushed so what happens when the button is pushed and you can see all the functions that you write and the properties that you write well the properties that you have so the functions and the properties we'll talk about that later on and then you have an app layout here which um, basically so if you click on this then it shows us what is that particular component so we can quickly uh, find out 
the names that we need to type into the code. So the component browser is here as normal and then we have the properties here as normal. So to create this you can see um, we're writing into the function display button pushed which is created by MATLAB and we're basically adding a line of code um, in this function. So when that button is pressed this function is executed and we get hello world in the text box. So this is very simple and all you have to do is write a single line of code. So you can start by typing app dot edit field. So edit field is basically um, the um, text area here. So I just press tab so tab should auto fill it for you. Uh, or you can just type it out if you like and then we say dot so we want to say we want to replace the value in the edit field with something that we like so we say capital V and then press tab then it should basically show you the options that you have so what we need is a value so you can click on value and then say equals and then in single quotation marks or double quotation marks we can say hello oh hello world exclamation mark and then end it with a semicolon so this is all you need basically and now we can click on run just as normal like in MATLAB and then it should ask us to save okay we will save it as app 1 and then save so there we go so this is the first MATLAB um, simple MATLAB app that we created and if really if we click on display there you go, you can see hello world displayed. So it's very simple, all you have to do is write a single line of code and you have a very simple application. So in the next tutorial um, and in the coming tutorials, I'll basically go through all the components and uh, teach you how to basically use all these components. Um, so hope you enjoyed that tutorial and stay tuned for more.